spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on Spirit. But I know it's the right play. I know, and, and I've seen this song and dance where I do this video to the people and I'm like, Spirit, Spirit, Spirit. And then I can't stomach it. My nuts shrivel. My dick goes into my body like a turtle. And I fucking jump off of it because like I can't keep watching myself lose money. Guess what happens? Three days later, and I miss it. And then I'm sitting here ranting and raving. If I lose half a milli on fucking spirit because they go bankrupt, so be it. If I lose a million on Norwegian cruise lines because they go bankrupt, so be it. You got to have the nuts for this game. If you don't have the nuts, if you don't have the balls, if you don't have the internal fortitude, if you don't have the testicular fortitude, if you don't have the get after this, if you don't have the courage, if you don't have the dignity, if, if you can't handle the heat, then get out of the kitchen. I want now, I've changed. I want fires. Davy discount, anybody can buy up. Anybody can buy Microsoft and Amazon, and I have those and Apple and all those goody two shoe stocks. I good. That's easy. That's easy money, baby. What I'm learning for what I do when the kitchen is on fire, you know that emoji with that guy, everything's all right, sitting there, the eyes, his house is on fire. When there's blood, when chaos is a ladder. Chaos is a ladder. Baelish, Game of Thrones. Yeah, I know he died. I don't care. He had a lot of success before he died. He lived like a king before he died, except that it was Game of Thrones and everyone kind of was like raping and killing each other. It didn't look like a great time to be alive. Aside from that, he had hookers coming out the windows. I don't. He was gay, but he had access to them. That's where the money is. The airlines and the cruises. I, I'm not throwing darts. I told you literally tick by tick by tick what would happen with Norwegian. And it's going to happen with fucking spirit. Spirit's going to have a day when it's like, oh, 10%, 15%. And everyone's going to sit there and go, whoa. The Wizard of Wall Street did it again. The King of DDTG Global. And I love going on the pen ticker and seeing all the fucking naysayers and all the shorts running for the hills. You don't bet against me. People have been betting against me for two decades. Nobody's cashed a winning ticket yet. All losers, ripped up in the fire. How many times do we have to prove it? You don't bet against me. You don't bet against this company. This company is made of steel. We've been hardened by fire. Robert Silberman, every time you write a hit piece, we have a world record day. You drop a hit piece, I sell the company for millions. You drop a hit piece, our stock's up 20%. My network, honestly, I did a little tweet just because I like to do a little tickle tickle. How many hit pieces has that guy, Robert? So I don't know why he hates us so much, but how many hit pieces has he written on us? 15, 18? I think I've made a million dollars for every hit piece he's made. Two he's talking about struggling, hammering money. I went to take a leak and dollar bills came out of my pee hole. I don't like bragging, though. Markdown Gan. I tried to get rid of. I tried to. Get, I. I tried to get rid of Gan, and it's like you can't. And I thought it was because the market was closed, and I prematurely rang the bell. You all saw it. And the reason that fucking happened was because I forgot I had an open order to get rid of Gan, so it had nothing to do. And then I got confused in my brain because the bell rang, but they were still fucking ticking, and we were still moving at furious paces. Can't have premature bells. I may need a bell guy. And I got stuck now with this gain, which I didn't want. I premature belled myself. All in all, I was up 278,000 today. I took everything because I premature belled. What did Penn end up today? Up 15%. I made millions. Wrap it. <laughs>